We're on a bit of a losing streak, y'all. So it's time to break that. Hello, doing well. Game's been brutal in the first two fights. But a Starmie start could change that. Starmie does have access to Zap Cannon, Thunder, Blizzard. Psychic is very cool, though it means we don't have a good water move. If I'm not mistaken, though, if Starmie has Psychic, it usually has Bubble Beam, which is better than Water Gun. So in the realm of water types, where their water move is not the strong move, usually the water move is any either Waterfall at its best. Air Cross is great. Waterfall would be the best bad move, bad water move, but most of them tend to have Water Gun. I'm pretty sure Starmie has Bubble Beam. Alright, we lost Starmie, but that's fine. Reversal's scary, especially because Dig won't kill. Let's say it's low health Heracross, though. Yeah, still not enough. I kinda should go for Dig. Wow, that's weird. I can't afford to look for Flamethrower or Fire Blast. I need to guarantee take out this Heracross. Very rare to do that. I'm a little nervous about my right move. If left is dig. Yeah. Interesting. a good voice line. Excuse me while I put on my sunglasses. Here comes a Pokemon I think I'm going to switch. We're faster than Dodrio, so if we get into a position where we lose our last, oh, 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 oh. then it means our, our, uh, our K9 can do stuff. I can at least get one more head off. But that's, that's GG. Still trying to get a uh, Kaizo rules kind of thing set up, but I can only do it if I get to continue on the first try. Losing a Starmie, which is very good in the next fight, means I can't really try the Kaizo rules here. I would have to play the rest of the run with only five Pokemon, which with Aerodactyl is very promising, but for the sake of trying to get a win, 
We're just going to lead Starmie. We're just going to play a normal run. But at any given time, if you see a run start off with a perfect, I'm attempting a Kaizo attempt. No, Aerodactyl is great. Mido King is also the perfect lead because we get to go Psychic instead of Bubble Beam. We could be Water Gun, but I've seen Star be Bubble Beam. Uh, a larger than zero amount. Another good example of a Bubble Beam user is Tentacruel. I don't think I've ever seen Tentacruel with Water Gun. That's fine. Tentacruel is the one that's very frequently Bubble Beam. I don't typically see Bubble Beam on most Pokemon, but I have seen it on Starmie, and I've definitely seen it on Tentacruel. I'm very confident Psychic is stronger. Psychic was a 2 KO, based on that crit. Steelix would be funny here. The main thing is the uh, trainer AI knew. Trainer AI knew it could live a Psychic, or a Water Gun. And it knew an earthquake would be a KO. It's very interesting. Oh, how do we win this? We probably live a dig, but I'm I'm just gonna switch. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It's fine. Crit is not fine. Do I go Starmie? I think I do. If they dig, we go back to our last. If they Sandstorm, which makes sense, we'll go for Water Gun. I'm gonna stay in. They're ready to go. We really need to continue here. The move didn't quite work. How's that? Good. A, light pass. A hot battle is unfolding. So I'm not sure what that move was. There's the shot. Oh, powerful. That was a live? Whoa, yeah, wow. That's not good. Now we gotta go last. Surf the continue. They're both hanging top. The Pokemon is returning to its Pokeball. What is that move? Oh, it's Tonga Scott! Foe is weak. Now's the time to attack. So our fourth is Ampharos, What's our fifth that? is Kangaskhan. A light hit! What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? <laughs> Fire Blast left on uh, Kangaskhan. Interesting. So we're definitely leading Ampharos. I lost my armrest. Definitely leading Ampharos. Now that we have a continue, we're chilling. I almost want to run Aerodactyl, but I don't think I will.
Starmie's low key kind of good. I've already forgotten my middle Pokemon. Arcanine. Uh, not Aerodactyl, not Arcanine, so I think we lead Ampharos. I think we want Starmie second. Kangaskhan last. Let's do Starmie last, King of, King of Gone second, so I don't make any mistakes. King of Gone is something I would switch. My logic usually tries to have my second be my switch in, for like a generic whatever I'm facing in this fight. Starmie's technically a better switch in, but I want I want to think of King of Gone as being that that role. Why did that sound like? Robat or Umbreon? It's not Umbreon. It sounded like Crobat. Here's the first move. It's slow. Down. That's terrifying. Or that was their Swift. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Crobat makes a lot of sense now. Gosh, Swift. Swift Gen 2 is so weird. Just like thinking about it just irks me. Here it comes, Thunder! Oh, that's a man. The white hot battle. We'd be sitting with a lot more HP if we started with right instead of left. What's this? A light hit. I always, always, always lead left when I'm starting a new Pokemon. Left was Dig for Arcanine, but it was Psychic for Starmie. Left was Ancient Power for Aerodactyl. And Swift for Ampharos. And then left was Fire Blast for Kangaskhan. So weirdly, we have a three Pokemon. Oh. We have three Pokemon with a offset move on their left, and then two Pokemon with their best move on the left. What's funny is in all of these situations, except for Aerodactyl, that we've discovered anyway, all of our moves are on the right following left. So that's my typical pattern. Left, right, depending on what left was. Ugh. So this is a better reason for Kangaskhan over Ampharos, or sorry, uh, Starmie. The only issue here, they might Surf, which would be okay, but if they dig, we're actually getting a setup move, which is kind of awkward, and I don't know what to look for. Because we're definitely faster than for Alligator. good news is, I don't think we're Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam Fire Blast is very rare. Dizzy Punch makes the most sense. Confusion is great. Surf, not great. Can we switch right now? I think we can. What is a good justification for Kangaskhan being healthy? What is a good justification? What's this? That didn't accomplish much. What impact? What Pokemon on the end do I want Kangaskhan for? Vaporeon? Vaporeon's about the only reason I can think. No confusion is rough. So we've taken one dig, one surf. Dig, surf. I'd wager we're at below half health with Kangaskhan. I can't remember if Kangaskhan is 250 or 280. I know it's in that range. 
Jinx was another good reason, though I didn't realize it. What was our bottom move, dude? I think our bottom move is that weird move. Psych up? I think our bottom move is psych up. Would our up move be anything as a result? I think it really doesn't matter what I do here, so might as well get the information. Don't know what that was. Thief is fine. Gosh, I don't know which is better, Water Gun or Psychic. Oh, Water Gun. I don't love it. How's that? A light hit. This could be the difference between two Water Guns and one Water Gun, but I'm willing to accept the charges. Let's just crit one disease punch. And even though Fire Blast is super effective, Kangaskhan does not have special, and Jinx has way less defense than special. Blizzard is scary. Oh, it's Icy Wind, good. It's saying powerful scares me though. I don't think it was a crit. Didn't get the confuse. So I think we lose? Last chance. <sighs> what a dumb fight to lose, yo. <gasps> Do I still have Ampharos after all this time? What? I I switched Ampharos without even realizing. Bright Powder or Quick Claw would have saved me there. I did not realize I saved Ampharos. I was playing on hard mode. Interesting. What sucks is, of all the off-water type Pokemon you can have in this fight, Crobat is the rarest. That genuinely might be the first time I've seen Crobat. It's hard to search, like, all memory, because it's not like, oh, I just know. It's more of an intuition thing. I do want to say there's a very slight possibility I've seen Crobat once before, but definitely not more than once. That said, um... Ampharos. Was Kangaskhan good? Yes, Kangaskhan was good. Was Starmie good? Eh. Not as much as I want it to be. Maybe just go same team. Hang it's gone. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think I chose correctly. King is gone, Starmie. And for us, King is gone, Starmie. Please just lead Crobat again. I'm begging. I wonder if Water Gun beats Thief. Not after an Icy Wind. Uh, I meant to switch to Kangaskhan in my head, and I clicked Starmie. It's fine, we got a good switch in. Uh, I'm just gonna go Psychics. Psychics seem good. This way we can compare. And that was the biggest reason I wanted to do Psychics, was the drops. But for my own personal review, I wanted to see if Water Gun or Psychic was stronger. And even without it, at least at the very start, Psychic, it makes more sense. What are you going to do with your special defense? Huh, Jinx? Two baby thieves versus my Psychic prowess. Get out of here. Oh, it lived. And now I'm dead. 
That scares me. Also, I'm very worried about my... I'm very worried about my microphone right now. If you can hear me, obviously there's no issue, but... My cord is very sensitive. And I bumped it. I have an armrest that prevents me from bumping it. And I need to see if my volume is still working. This is very scary. goes for surf so there's no reason to switch i want to explain the issue here as soon as either kangaskhan dies which i don't think it can win the race once i go amphros he goes for dig once he goes for dig i'm guaranteed lat like half health going into the final fight if i swap i'm taking a surf and a dig which is worse so really, there's no outcome here that's good, except for Dizzy Punch Confuse. And we are faster, which is good. But without the Confuse, we're just dead. We lived, which is good. I should have led Kangaskhan in context, in retrospect. I saw they had the Jinx. Leading Crobat was very weird, very rare. I always expect Jinx to be a lead, typically. I know I said always typically, but you know what I mean. And so, there was a little more logic behind leading Kangaskhan, because if they lead Crobat still, we just switch to Ampharos. There's no damage the Crobat can do to an Ampharos. When it comes to a Jinx lead, I don't want to lead Ampharos. Alright, let's start things off. I'm nervous about finding Rain Dance. I'm gonna go up. That's what I thought. I was expecting. If we miss this Thunder, we lose, so GG. even hitting it, we're not, like, anywhere close to winning. A lot of water types on the end here that outspeed, a lot of water types that one-shot, but a lot of one water types that lose. Blastoise might be one of them. I don't think he will be. Blastoise is definitely slower. Nope. It's Hydro Pump. Didn't kill. I want to crawl into a ball and cry. Can we win? Good dodge. Please hit. Oh, so back. Y'all are seeing, like, the last six months. Just, like, perfectly encapsulated right there. Very favorable fight, with just, like, some slightly bad RNG. And I still lose. <laughs> but thankfully we win this time.
I have not made it past the third fight in a very long time. And now we're chilling. There's like genuinely not that much to worry about. Starmie's good in this. Like, what the heck? I want to lead Starmie. I think leading Starmie makes sense because if we lead Starmie and they go a normal type, I can swap to Aerodactyl very conveniently. Who's better, Ampharos or Kangaskhan? Probably not Kangaskhan, frankly. Let's see if we can get to our last here. Learn what our last is. A lot of fighting types. Ursaring. So we could swap. I'm gonna stay in. The One of the other things that I didn't think about. I know it's only Thunder Punch and it's a special move, but paralyzing is scary. Good. Starmie, Electrode are both really good Pokemon in this fight specifically, since they have no gender. And so those Pokemon get a lot more valuable than they already are. Meltank. Uh, we've only taken one Thunder Punch, and it's pretty weak on Earth's Ring. Drop would be nice. Darn. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's kind of scary, honestly. We need to crawl our way back to a continue, so I think this is the swap. The issue is Miltank is very good defensively, but we already got one Psychic off, we can, we can relax. Boost! Another thing to consider, the uh, traction risks. Broke through, boost. Let's go. <laughs> We're chilling now. Let's see if we can find Wing Attack or Fly. Fly would be awful right now, sincerely. Just like the worst thing to find. Broke through. Agility. That is very weird. I would say, now, 99% of the time, whenever I go opposite of Ancient Power, it's always a flying move, but now it was Psychic. It was Agility. Okay. And even weirder, found Steel Wing before Wing Attack. That has me a little concerned. Aerodactyl is a great Pokemon for a lot of reasons I've already shared in my one video. You can probably see the video. Right, right next to me. Do I switch? I think I do. Starmie is either a one-shot or a two-shot, and there's no world where Polyrath is a three-shot. We need this continue. Uh, in my Aerodactyl, in my coverage of all the best Pokemon, like their reasoning, Aerodactyl's biggest reason for being one of the best is just the consistency. More than anything, it's the consistency. You basically always know know what moves you get. 
and there's very little deviation. The worst deviation you can get for Aerodactyl is... Fly? What? Oh, that's so annoying. The worst you can get is Fly instead of Wing Attack. But it's still fine. You always get Ancient Power. But the weird thing is this Aerodactyl's like moveset is like all over the place. Okay. Ancient Power Wing Attack. This is like 80% of all Aerodactyls. It's just weird that it was left up instead of left right. Very, very interesting. I wonder if Aerodactyl would have lived. It was probably worth staying in just for the fact of crit chance, boosted chance. I have to think about the fact that I'm, I'm plus one. But I really thought Starmie was healthier than that. And that Starmie then would also, you know, live. Because what is a Polyrath going to do, you know? Let's go Aerodactyl. Or K9. Kangaskhan? Starmie? Starmie can hit the grass types. Not favorably, but can hit it. Let's go Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan has Dizzy Punch and Fire Blast, actually. So Kangaskhan can deal with Exeggutor, for example. But let's just get a one one shot sweep. Clarion uh, is probably the worst fire type to face. It's Quick Claw. Flareon has access to Iron Tail and a good attack stat. That's the reason it's the worst. If it had just gone for Iron Tail, we'd probably just die. Why are you faster and critting a Fire Blast in the sun? The only thing that makes sense is two Quick Claw triggers, but... Two Quick Claws are very rare. How will we proceed? I think we swap. If it goes for Iron Tail or Solar Beam, Arcanon is a good switch. We need to find our Fire move. I think the last time we used Arcanon, we found Sunny Day right. So we need to go down. Worst fire move. Brutal. Mud Slap is actually annoying, too. Do we swap to Aerodactyl? I think we can afford to stand for one more hit. We have one more day of sun. Good. The real question becomes, what do we do on the end here? Let's count. Sunny Day, 4. Ancient Power, 3. Ganium, Solar Beam, 2. Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel, yeah. That was the last turn. We took a crit, which is not great. I kinda wanna switch to Kangaskhan. I'm worried about the mud slap accuracy is all. Okay, we got the hit. If we don't miss, we're we're really set here. Yeah, no no reason to switch now, so. The other good news is I'm pretty sure that we don't die to two solar beams and a mud slap. Didn't miss, so I think we win. Nice. Finally, like a standard fight. 
For once. Alright. So our main squad is... Baller. <laughs> got Thunder Ampharos with Dynamic Punch to deal with, like, the very rare rock types, steel types, that are also ground types. We've got Starmie with Psychic, and we've got Aerodactyl. This team is very susceptible to ground types, but any given ground type, I do have outs to beat. So let's lead Omphoros. Then we want a ground switch in, which would be Aerodactyl. And then we go back to Starmie. So AAS. I also meant to check my thing. I don't recognize that sound. I meant to check if my microphone broke. It'd be a real shame if it did. Here's the, first move. the window in which I'm supposed to check whether my microphone is broken is on the next screen. The that way the, the integrity of the blindfold stays. Serious damage. A hot battle is unfolding. <sighs> it's either Tauros... Tauros makes sense, that's horn attack. But saying a glancing blow is weird. Nice. That's Tauros. Horn attack made sense as the attack, and it was a sound I didn't recognize. What's funny is, in the category of Pokemon I don't recognize, of all the Pokemon I don't recognize, There's like, just a general vibe I have, where I hear a sound and I don't immediately recognize it. If I hear a sound and don't immediately recognize it, there's like, three Pokemon I automatically think of, and those are usually which one it is. I'm a little worried about being outsped here. Good. There shouldn't be a chance I'm outsped, but it it can happen. I know I get too KO'd by this, so we're really just all in on Starmie. Even without the drop, we were boned. And I know that uh, this is a 3 KO. No crit, sadly. Right powder, one time. I don't know the logic behind bright powder. Oh, that's really bad. Oh man, that is really bad, actually. That was a gold berry. Good dodge. Slower is understandable. I've forgotten the train of thought I was going down. Alright, water gun kills. Just dodge. Good. Alright, we're so back. I genuinely forgot what I was saying. I remember the things, like, around the things that were happening as I was talking. But I don't remember what I was saying. This is scarier than it looks. Gengar should be faster, but Psychic should one-shot. We were faster. Psychic did not one-shot. That's terrifying. Good. 
that settles this battle. And there goes the battle. I can't remember what I was talking about. That's the worst. All right, and you remember to to look. I'm taking my blindfold off after the screen moves. Okay, I just need to see my microphone is working. Hello, it is good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I took my blindfold off. Sue me. I knew I had one continue. I should have said that out loud before I, you know, saw I had one continue left. But we did full clear the fifth fight without a death. What are we doing here? Oh, man. We don't have a team for this. I kind of want to lead Starmie. I'm going to pick Ampharos. I think one Aerodactyl. Can we please get a Starmie lead? Please, Starmie lead. Gengar. I could have led Starmie! <laughs> In my heart of hearts, it increased its evasiveness. when our last Pokemon we fought was Gengar, I felt there was no chance that they would leave with a Gengar. It's not impossible to have the same Pokemon in two fights in a row, but it's just like not as common. Right, there's so many Pokemon to choose from. Wow. That's what I was talking about. Bright Powder. So, <laughs> the fact that I just Quick Clawed- oh, Paralysis maybe. The fact that I assumed I Quick Clawed tells me exactly what I was thinking about, which was Bright Powder. I don't know the logic behind Bright Powder. Eh. I don't know the logic behind Bright Powder. Like, which Pokemon get in and which don't. The only Bright Powder user I can genuinely tell you about is Exeggutor. Exeggutor was my one of my favorite runs. This dumbass Exeggutor just wins an entire fight off Bright Powder. It was so dumb. And it was really entertaining. It was entertaining in the run, and it was enter entertaining watching it back. This dude dodged, like, so many times. So we got another Paralysis. We're three out of four Thunders for the double team fight. I could go for Swift. Like, two Swifts here might KO. But so can one Thunder. So can one Thunder. Psybeam. So can one Thunder. Should just Swift. Do I switch here? Getting a continue is pretty good. Oh, where was Starmie? I think I would logically choose Starmie second. Nice, good switch, good switch. I think I have to go for Water Gun over Psychic, sadly. Oh, I can Psych up. I can Psych up. I need to know if this is Psych up. And it's still hit! <laughs> the white hot battle Come on, the one time I find that I have Psych Up. It 
early in the run! I discover Psych Up! And I find the perfect place to use it. And then you have me confused and miss. And you have me not dodging! A hot battle is unfolding. The one time I use Psych Up! Alright. Once again, I should have gone for Psychic. Can we preserve a continue here, folks? That is our question. If Aerodactyl beats the last, I'm switching. Aerodactyl kind of beats the last? It dies to two Psychics is the issue. How do we want to proceed? We're definitely Psychicking. Love to continue here. Oh wait, it had confusion. I'm an idiot. I wasn't paying attention. In my heart, I was like, I can't go Aerodactyl because of Psychic. But it just used confusion. That was the safest switch of my life. So it'll take two turns to charge a Solar Beam, and then we win with Wing Attack. I could have had a continue here. It's fine. There's also the cinema of uh, having a Stormy win with Psych Up. It was very appealing. Showing uh, scientist Roberto a taste of his own medicine. How do you like double team? Anyway. No continue, but we're still going into the last fight with a continue. We'll be fine. This team is pretty good. We still have a very sh severe weakness to ground. Yes, I have Starmie, but Water Gun is not going to cut it. But Ampharos, Starmie, and Aerodactyl are all very good. This time we'll do Aerodactyl second. Aerodactyl is our ground switch in. Granted, we're not very good against Steelix. Not particularly great against uh, Rhydon or Golem, but we do have access to Steel Wing, which makes those a little bit easier. Espeon. Did we fight three Espeons in a row, by the way? Just the ground switch in. Ironically, we had a good switch into Starmie. Uh, let's go safe for now. We have a really hard time against exactly Espeon, with Aerodactyl taking damage. But I ran Aerodactyl because he's the ground switch in for Ampharos. I think we're going to do the big switch. We're just going to go back to uh, Starmie next. Because whatever move you're going for, it's not going to be good against Starmie. Except for a, an electric move, that's fair. What are you switching to? Electric? 
valid. How will this newly switched out Pokemon fare? I think we just have to stay in at this point. Switching to Espeon is very weird. The Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. What? There it goes. Uh -oh, that Pokemon the wrong What are you doing? Trevor. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Gentleman Trevor played himself. That was wild, dude. Alright, we're just gonna stay in and Psychic. Oh, we need to switch, actually. Oh, no, but we killed... We killed, uh, Nido. Yeah, no, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. The switch was because I needed to make sure we had Starmie for Nido King, but we just killed Nido King. Probably should have gone for Water Gun there. It was enough, though. Oh, I died first. I should have realized, yeah. Right, we just need to preserve Ampharos HP and we're set. Narodactyl 100% outspeeds. Sadly, we won't get a boost. Oh, we can get a boost. Is this really going to come down to hitting a thunder? <laughs> All our hard work. Boiled down to a coin flip. We get a boost. We could theoretically win. No boost. Yeah. Alright, Ampharos. Whoa. That was a weird audio glitch. That was very weird. You said it, narrator. Pretty sure we live two surfs. Yeah, I can't pick another team. This, this is the only team I can pick. I'm okay with an Aerodactyl lead now, though. Aerodactyl lead is good. Do I want to swap to? Probably Ampharos. So Ampharos second. Stormy third. If they lead Politoed, it's awkward. But we do have a switch. Yeah. Well, we had no Electabuzz switch outside of these anyway. 
Arcanine technically, but I was never going to run Arcanine, especially after that last match. And then Kangaskhan is technically a good mid matchup. Good general Pokemon. How sick would it be to swap to swap to star me on that? Show me your psychic switching. What will this Show me your psychic switching. That's what I thought. We should outspeed Electabuzz. And if it's Thunder, it can miss. If it's Thunderbolt, it can not KO. Here comes Thunder. Whoop, that Justice for Ampharos. I can't tell you how many times I've lost to the 8th fight, used the continue, and then immediately got to continue back. <laughs> it's very weird. Okay. That's fine. Ampharos is paralyzed. It's a very real threat. Politoed is also still a threat. But at least we KO with Ancient Power here. Scizor is worrisome, but not impossible to beat. We're guaranteed at least two ancient powers. And that should definitely put it in range of thunder. And then there's not a single move Scizor can go for. Beat Ampharos. So it really just comes down to is Ampharos feeling up to one, not being paralyzed, and two, hitting Thunder? These are the questions we will answer. Quick attack is a good sign. I think I'm at 20, 20 battles, 20 attempts. Two or three of those attempts are me like starting the match and then being like, wait, something's wrong. It was like 59, 30 to seven. And then uh, having to restart. So that counts as a attempt. 
what you're about to see, but I'm, I'm at least at 20 attempts before we got this win. Really nice team. Everyone played a good part, one way or another. What was our last? Gengar, pretty cool. Eight tries? It's it's felt much longer than that. I don't know where that tries number's coming from. I've been playing a lot. More than you'd expect, and every run dying before the third fight. And so, what can I do? There we go. Finally. And a pretty fun one. That's Psych Up. I'm so proud of, of Psych Up coming to show. You very rarely get rewarded for finding a bad move. And there we were. We were rewarded for finding a bad move. GG. We're back, baby.